Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. Today in this video, we will see how to use gauge and progress bar on Nextian display. Let's start by creating the project in Nextian editor first. Create the project folder here. Give some name and click save. Select your Nextian model. And select the display orientation here. First of all we need to download a gauge background. Let's Google for some. This one seems good for our job. Let's go to this website. This is 600 by 600 pixels, and it's perfect. Let's download it. We need to reduce its size, so it can fit the display. Let's open it with GIMP. I have the height here as 240 pixels, so I will reduce it to the same size. Go to image, scale image and reduce the size here. Let's export it in the same PNG format. I am going to create a background now. The size should be same as the display size. And add that image as a layer here. I am going to keep a progress bar on the left here. Let's export this final image. We need to add the image to our project. Add the image box to the display, and include the gauge image. So this will be our background on the display. Let's add a progress bar. I am going to select the vertical type. Now at the gauge. If you don't want this white background, select the background as cropped image. And select the same image that is in the background. Let's change that pointer color, and its thickness. Adjust it, also try with different values to check if the pointer fits the gauge. Ok it's perfect fit now. Let's add the number box to this. 
use the cropped image as the background. We also need to add fonts here. You can generate them if you don't have. Let's try and put a value to see if it fits the number box. Great, it fits perfectly. Let's test some values on the gauge here. We don't want the pointer to go here. So 315 indicates the minimum value on the gauge. But remember this gauge can only rotate between 0 to 360. If I try to go higher than 360, it will simply not take that value. This 360 and 0 are the same positions. Let's try to look for the highest value. So 225 is the maximum value we can have. Keeping that in mind, let's create the project with cube IDE. I am using STM32F446RE controller. Give some name to the project and click finish. First of all I am selecting the external crystal for the clock. I will be connecting the display to the UART4. Make sure you keep the board rate to 9600. Let's do the clock setup now. I have 8 MHz oscillator, and I want the system to run at maximum clock. Click save to generate the project now. Let's first define the end commands, these must be sent after every command to the Nextian. Create a function to send the value to the gauge. Here first, define a buffer to hold some values. Now copy the data to be sent into the buffer. And now we will send the buffer to the UART. And finally, send the end commands. Let's build it once. We need to include stdio for the sprintf function. Now if you remember that the initial value for the gauge was 315. So we will add 315 to every value. And since the gauge can have the maximum value of 360, if the value is higher than 360, we will subtract 360 from the value. Now another function to send the data to the number box. We basically have the same data here.
The same steps for sending the data to the progress bar also. Basically you can just create a single function for all these values. Now in the while loop, we will send the values to all the elements. I am using 270 because that's the limit for my gauge setup. First I will send it to the gauge. The object name is Z0, and the value field is val. Next, send to the number. Here the object field is n0, and the value field is val. Now before sending the value to the progress bar, I am going to modify the color of the bar, based on the value. Colors will vary from green, to yellow, to orange, to red, based on the value. If the value is less than 160, we will send 2016 to this field. The object name for the bar is J0, and the color field is PCO. 2016 is the code for the green color. Here you can get different codes for the different colors. And then based on different values, we will send the command to change the color of the bar. Now we will convert the value to the percentage, so that we can send it to the progress bar. And finally send the value to the value filed in the progress bar. I will add a small delay here. We need to upload this to the Nextian display first. I have connected the display to the FTDI, which is connected to COM4. Let's start the upload. You can see the data is being written to the display. And we are done, and the images are loaded successfully. Let's upload the code to the board too. Here we go. This flickering effect remains with the default gauge. If you want to remove it, you need to make your own gauge with different set of pictures. I will do that in another video. We can also simulate the gauge in the editor. But for that we need to send the serial data to the computer, and in my Nucleo board, I have to use UART2 for that purpose. And I will change these UART4 to UART2. In the editor, Select the debugging, 
and select user MCU input. Select the COM port and press start. Now I will load the code into the board. You can see it's pretty smooth here, compared to the actual display. Let me just reduce the delay to 10 milliseconds. Yes it's a bit faster now. This is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You can download the code, and the gauge file from the link in the description. Keep watching, and have a nice day ahead.